In this challenge, you were asked to create a sorted list from the generics collection. So in other words, we wanted you to create a generic sorted list object and store some strings in it. Now by default, with a C-sharp console application, Microsoft already includes the using directive for the system.collections.generic namespace. This means you don't have to import system.collections.generic, it's already there for you. So here's the way I would write this, is step into my main method within the body, and I'm gonna make use of IntelliSense, and as I start typing sort, we can see that Visual Studio pops up the list of classes that it knows with all of the imported namespaces, start with SOR. I find sorted list, and I can press the tab key for auto completion, and it now enters the full sorted list. And again, we mentioned that this is going to be a generic list, so we want to store string values. Generic sorted list requests or use a key to help us locate the values that we store. In order to create this, we need to store a key and we need to store a value. Replacing our T placeholder for T key and T value, we want to store a string value for our key representation and for the value representation, we also want to store a string value. Closing out the angle brackets sets up the infrastructure for our generic sorted list that will store string values. Now, like any other type, I want to give this a name. So I'm creating a sorted list object type, and I want to create this, I'll just give it a name called my sorted list. And then we use the new keyword again. As we hit space, IntelliSense automatically pops up the new completion for a new sorted list with the modifiers already changed to string. So just press tab and that inserts that for us automatically. And anytime we use the new operator, we also end our data type or class type with the open close parenthesis and a semicolon. So now I have actually created a variable called my sorted list of type generic sorted list to store string, key, and a string value. Now we also ask you to store some string values in it. So we said use the appropriate method to store string values in the sorted list. If we start with IntelliSense and type in my sorted list and use our dot separator, we can see that Visual Studio once again pops up our IntelliSense and here's our add method. We know that this is the one that adds an element to our list. We can double click or press tab, open our parentheses, IntelliSense simply tells us we're looking for a string for the key and a string for the value. All strings in C sharp are delineated by the double quotations. We will call this first and for the value we'll put in my name, Jerry, and then we'll store one more value in here. So my sorted list.add and we'll give this one the last for the key and we'll put in my last name in with a semicolon and Visual Studio is happy so we have created our generic sorted list object to store string values using the appropriate method which was add we have now added two values to our sorted list